the totals here in Georgia uh, from Oh, from really 2020 into 2024. And Georgia was one of many key battleground states for Trump. Uh, here's a look at how many people voted across the Peach State in 2020. I know these numbers are going a little bit quick now, but here's the numbers from the election with more than 200,000 more voters, which is incredible. And then you're also seeing Richmond County's 2020 voter turnout and then also the turnout with a few thousand less coming out to vote compared to this year. And then we had Columbia County's 2020 election numbers compared to this year's with both party, both parties seeing four digit gains here. Your Hallie Turner joins us now live from the newsroom. Hallie, a big focus this year was on the quality and security of Georgia's elections. Yeah, well, the biggest change the Richmond County Elections Executive Director says there was from 2020 was a law that requires absentee ballots to be in earlier. But even with the expanded early voting in Richmond County, turnout was not what he thought it would be. If you ask Travis Doss about the 2024 general election, he will tell you, for the most part, it was smooth sailing. I think what worked really well is we had the four advanced voting sites that were open the entire three weeks, um, 8.30 to 6. We had that extra hour um, that we did not have in, in 2020. We had two Saturdays. We had a Sunday. He also believes Georgia's new law requiring absentee ballots to be counted by eight help things flow. The big difference uh, last night than 2020 was that we had most of our absentee and our um, advanced early voting stuff ready to go by 7 p.m. Um, and so we, we had all of that tabulated. Um, and so we were able to upload that um, pretty quickly. But he didn't see the turnout at the polls he hoped for. I really was hopeful first thing in the morning when we did see such a, a high early voting turnout that I really thought that, that we would have more people turn out on election day. While there were no major hiccups, Doss says no matter how hard they try, there will always be precinct confusion. I was talking to the marshal's uh, deputies this morning and they said that they had to turn away over 180 people that showed up here thinking that they could vote here because this was uh, an early voting location. I don't know how to enforce that message because that's that's what we we say all the time. But he knows there's always room for improvement. Now, Doss says one thing he'd like to see in the future elections is voting centers across the county so that you don't have to go to your assigned precinct. What he is most excited about, though, is the unofficial results seem to show that there won't be any local runoffs, which is a huge sigh of relief so they don't have to do this all over again. And that certainly is good news, but it's interesting to see those numbers compared to 2020 versus now. But the good thing is everything ran smoothly yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. That's good news. Seemed like a smooth election across the state as well, except for those few hiccups, but nothing major. Hallie Turner reporting from our newsroom. Thanks again, Hallie.